Hey guys, it's Yubin. In this video, I'll be showing you my desk setup, starting from my PC, peripherals, then my desk itself, and everything in my drawers. This setup works for productivity for working at home, studying, and video editing, and of course, some gaming as well. I hope you enjoy the video, and let's get into it! I built my PC around a year ago and it's been perfect for all my needs because I can run DaVinci Resolve and edit high quality footage without an issue. And my graphics card can run basically any game I want to play on max quality, including The Witcher 3 and Tomb Raider. With that, it's also great as my main productivity device. I've listed the specs and links in the description box below and you can take a look at my PC building video right here if you're interested. I have a 27 inch curved gaming monitor from Dell and I do love the curved face because it's easier on the eyes and a bit nicer when gaming. My keyboard is the Cooler Master Master Keys Pro M with brown switches and I've had it for around 3 years now and I still really like it. For my mouse, I use the Logitech G Pro Hero. My mouse pad is from a random Amazon brand but the quality is really great and I've linked it below if you're interested. I have my Fifine K669 mic setup on my mic stand that it came with, and it's great for reducing clutter on my smaller desk space. My webcam is also an inexpensive one from Amazon, and it's a regular 1080p camera with adjustable focus. I'm not doing anything too serious here like streaming, so this works perfectly fine for all the video conferencing and Zoom meetings that I'm doing. My lamp is from Ikea and I have an LED RGB light bulb in it, which I will show you in the second half of this video. For headphones, I use the Bose A2 Soundlink, which I put a little hook for under my desk. Last but not least, my desk chair is this big comfy leather chair from Costco. So now that we've got the main items out of the way, I want to show you what's in my drawers. In my desk drawer, I usually only keep my journal and my extra watch strap. My desk is a standing desk if you haven't noticed, and it comes with a USB port for charging on its control panel. Here I keep my Apple Watch charger plugged in and organize the cables so my watch can just hang there when it's charging. As for my side drawer here, I only keep things that I actually use, so it's quite easy to keep things organized. At the top, I keep my glasses and my iPad accessories, and today I also have my boyfriend's Switch here. I also have this extra mouse pad, which I use when I'm not gaming because it just kind of makes my setup look a bit cleaner. In the second drawer, I keep my cute little pencil case, which is from Korea, and all my journals, notebooks, and sketchbook. The third one has my coasters and hand lotion and chocolate and stuff like that. This fourth drawer has all of my extra cables, hard drives, chargers, etc. as well as a mini first aid kit. I also keep my speaker, some tape, and my favorite calculator. Finally, at the bottom, I have all of my stationery and art supplies, which I use when I write letters or make birthday cards or Christmas cards or stuff like that. Thank you. 
As I mentioned before, I have a standing desk and I got it during the pandemic because I started to get some knee pain due to my apparently poor posture. This desk is a simple one from Costco and you can preset four different heights. Number one for me is my regular sitting height. Number two is for when I'm writing while sitting since it's a bit comfier to have it a bit higher for that. And my third and fourth are both set to my standing height. It took me a long time to do my cable management since I had to account for the movement of my desk, but other than that, I have no complaints about the standing desk. When I'm standing, I just tuck my chair underneath and stand on this comfy mat, which is also from Costco. If I'm working from home, I usually stand for the entire day and sit when I'm done or playing games. Finally, as promised, here's what my desk looks like with different settings on my LED light. I prefer this to the strip lights because there are no wires involved and I can use the white color for reading or writing at my desk. That concludes my desk tour and I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. I've linked almost everything in the description box if you want to take a look and it would be amazing if you can leave a like or a comment to further support my channel. Thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.